What's going on YouTube? My name is Martin. You're watching Themile, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can create subdomains from individual WordPress pages on a single WordPress installation. That's right, you don't have to mess around with creating separate websites or having multiple WordPress installations just for different subdomains. What you're gonna learn is that it's possible to actually attach individual subdomains to a WordPress page on one WordPress website. Now I'm assuming if you clicked on this video, you probably already have your own use case for this. And there are a wide variety of use cases where this is beneficial. Uh, for our example here, I'm gonna pretend that I own a luxury uh, vacation rental business in Greece and that I have multiple villas all over Greece. So in Athens and Santorini and Crete and so on and so forth. Now, the process itself is going to be broken down into three steps. Step number one is very easy. We're just going to install a plugin. That plugin is called WP Landing Kit. Again, that's WP Landing Kit. And you can get that on the Theme Isle website. The second step is going to involve creating parked domains that are attached to your main domain. Now that's going to look a little bit different depending on where you have your domain name registered. For our purposes here for the tutorial, I'm going to do it using Hostinger, but you can follow a similar process regardless of where your domain name is registered. If you're not sure on how to create parked domains, then I would suggest consulting the knowledge base section of wherever your domain name is registered. Pretty much all the major registrars and hosting companies are going to have some kind of a knowledge base article that explains how to create park domains or domain aliases. And if for some reason after consulting with the knowledge base articles you're still confused and you just don't know how to create the park domains, you can always reach out to customer support and just say, hey, you know, I'd like to create a park domain or domain alias and I want it to point to this main domain here and they'll help you out and they'll, they'll explain how to do it. It's also very important and I have to point this out and stress this, you're going to be creating parked domains or domain aliases and not subdomains. So I know that could be a little bit confusing because this whole tutorial is about using subdomains to attach them to WordPress pages. But the actual process of doing this is creating park domains or, or domain aliases and not subdomains. Now on the front end for your website visitors, they are going to see the subdomain, which is the whole point of doing this. But on the back end, those subdomains are actually going to exist as parked domains that point to your main domain. And finally, for the third step, you're gonna take the WP Landing Kit plugin and map those park domains that you created to the specific WordPress pages that you want them attached to. And that's the process. You ready to get started? Let's do it. All right, so here is my lovely fake Greek luxury villa vacation rental business website that I made, tdemos.com. Um, as you can see. And so before we move forward with step one, what I'd like to do is show you what this looks like before we actually implement the solution. So you see here we have the website and I have these pages that are dedicated to all the different properties that I own across Greece. So now let's click on, let's say, Crete Luxury Villa. All right, so that brings me to the Crete Luxury Villa page, right? Here's all the information about my villa in Crete. And notice the domain at the top. It's just tdemos.com backslash Crete. But we want it to be crete.tdemos.com so that each villa has its own subdomain by the name of the location of where the villa is found. So let's now go to the WordPress dashboard. Let's go to plugins, add plugin. We're going to upload the plugin because it's actually a premium plugin. So it's not available from the, the repository here. You have to actually download the zip file and upload it. So you click upload plugin and now we go to choose file here in the center of the screen. And the plugin is right here, WP landing kit. So we click on it, click on open. Now we see it's populated here. So we click install now. We see it's installing installed successfully so now we activate the plugin so with the plugin activated you should see it in your wp admin 
uh, on the left hand side in case you don't sometimes you need to refresh your browser so if you don't see it show up after it says that it was installed just refresh your browser and then it'll show up all right and with the wp landing kit plugin installed we are ready to move on to step two which if you remember is to create our park domains or domain aliases now as i mentioned already i'm going to be using hostinger to do this so this is my hostinger control panel called the h panel and you see i'm already on the correct website this is my domain tdemos.com so from here we're going to use the left hand side menu we're going to go to domains we're going to open that up and then one of the options here is parked domains. So we're going to click on that. And here we're just going to type our parked domains. So we'll start with Crete, for example, crete.tdemos.com. Click park. And now it's been added. Okay, so I've added four of them here for now. We've got Crete, we've got Santorini, Lesbos, and Ithaca. Technically, I had more than this, but for the purposes of the tutorial, I only really need to show you how to do it with one of them because the process is identical for all of them. So we'll probably do it using Crete, which means we're ready for step three. All right, so we are now back in our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we're gonna go to the WP Landing Kit plugin. Now, before we actually add the first subdomain to a page what i want to do is go to the settings just to show you something that i recommend you turn on so we click on settings here first of all you should notice that pages is checked off by default this means you can map subdomains to pages if you also want to do the same with individual posts you can also check off posts but i'm going to leave it off because we're only doing pages here and then uh the part i wanted to show you though is at the bottom where it says global domain settings enforce protocol so the default setting is none I recommend changing it to HTTPS just because it's better security protocol to have it on HTTPS always. And assuming that you have an SSL certificate installed on your site, then it really shouldn't matter. But if for some reason you don't have an SSL certificate, you, well, first of all, you should get one. <laughs> Find a way to get one. You should have an SSL certificate. Um, but if you don't have one temporarily until you get one, then don't turn this on because it won't work properly. And then from here, we're going to go to all domains so as you see there's none here yet so we're going to click on add new domain and up here we'll start off with crete so we'll do crete all right so you see i typed it here but it automatically loaded where it says mappings as well we're going to leave it as map to resource we're going to leave it as single page and for the page we click into the field and start typing in crete you see it'll populate now we have Crete, I click on it, click on map subpages, map internal all posts, scroll down. Um, you can also turn on that HTTPS here on the individual pages if you want, but if you have it clicked off in settings, you don't have to do that. But that's it, all you have to do is basically that and then click on publish up here. And you'll see, you'll get a message, success, your domain is properly configured. Now let's go over to pages. And now you see that the crete.tdemos.com has been properly assigned to the Crete Luxury Villa page. You'll see it in this uh, column, mapped URLs. So let's click on the subdomain, crete.tdemos. All right, and it worked. As you see, we are on the Crete Luxury Villa page that we saw earlier at the beginning of the tutorial, except now the URL shown as crete.tdemos.com, which is the subdomain. And if you click into the web browser window one more time, It'll open up the full address so you can see that the HTTPS protocol that I checked off is also being enforced. And that's it. And you're all set. So basically, you would just repeat that process for all of your other domains. Hold on. Don't go anywhere yet. I have one last thing I want to share with you before I let you go, which is simply to say that even though you saw me go through that whole process very smoothly and there really were no issues, does that mean that's going to happen to you when you go through the process? Maybe, but it might also not happen. There are a number of variables and factors that come into play when you're mapping domains. And so sometimes you may hit a bump in the road. I would say in most cases that's not going to happen, but if that does happen to you, you have three resources available at your disposal to get help. The first one is to go uh, back on the Themile website, go on the WP Landing Kit page, and then scroll down to the bottom, and you will see Docs right here at the bottom. 
So if you click on Docs, it will then bring you to the main Themeisle Docs library. And on this page, all you have to do is click into this field, the search field, and literally just type WP. You don't even have to type out the whole thing. It's the first option that comes up. Click on it, and that will then bring you to the specific Docs page for WP Landing Kit. Now this Docs page here is more of just a basic general how to install the plugin. The actual detailed Docs page is at this link here, where it says here. Click and it will bring you here so this is the actual like real detailed docs page and you can see it's super helpful it has everything that you pretty much need to know troubleshooting faqs anything um, you can find it here and the second resource is also at the bottom of that same wp landing kit page and it is the contact link right here so that will bring you over to this page and since you're a customer because WP landing kit is a premium plugin you would just click here to get support and the final resource is this video right here specifically the comments section so if you do have just a quick question and you want to run it by me drop a comment down below and I will be glad to help you out other than that I hope you found this helpful and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there are more great videos coming soon see you next time Thank you.